October 2022 has been a busy but successful month for the Chinese Space Agency. The country launched six orbital missions in total, but the one mission that took a major piece of credit while stunning the world in its success is the successful launch of the Mengshin module. Mengshin is the third and final piece of China's T-shaped Tiangong space station. Its successful arrival officially marked the end of Tiangong's assembly phase and the beginning of full operations and experimentation for the orbital outpost. Accompanied by the International Space Station, the Tiangong Space Station is the second fully functional space station in orbit, awaiting new experiments from China as well as from all over the world. Apart from Mengshin module launch, China also launched a mysterious Xi'an 20C satellite into orbit which raised several concerns but as the name Xi'an signifies experiment, the results are yet to be seen. All in all, the Mengshin launch has put China extremely ahead in the race to space. In today's episode, we are going to talk about what will follow a successful Mengshin module launch and how the completed Tiangong space station will solidify China's stance in space. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. A hot topic right now as well as the future, the Mengshin launch was dubbed a complete success recently and has officially docked with the Chinese space station in orbit. There were no setbacks or delays according to the Chinese space agency, and everything went rather smoothly. Mengxin was blasted into space on Monday afternoon from the Wencheng Satellite Launch Center on the southern island province of Hainan. It was expected to take about 13 hours to complete the flight and docking mission. A large crowd of amateur photographers, space enthusiasts, and others watched the liftoff from an adjoining beach. Many waved Chinese flags and wore t-shirts emblazoned with the characters for China, reflecting the deep national pride invested in the space program and the technological progress it represents. The launch was streamed worldwide as well by the official sources as well as several space enthusiast channels with large and smaller following. Mengxin was the third and the last module of the Tiangong space station. Although the Chinese space agency is planning to send their own telescope, the Xunchen to the Tiangong station, the T-shaped structure is now officially complete. Modifications are expected to be made later on but for now, the nation votes its victory and rightfully does so. As important and impressive as space missions are, launching a whole space station into orbit along with its experimental modules and then sending crewed and cargo missions later on is a major feat and the complete is a historic moment which will be talked about for years to come. Not only that, its neighbor, the International Space Station, is expected to be retired soon, which further solidifies the stance of the only working space station in orbit, the Tiangong Space Station. Pretty soon, eyes will look towards the Chinese presence in space if they haven't already done so. In past, China has already revealed their plans of working with international partners as well as welcoming international help and collaboration in the space sector, mainly their space station which we will talk about later on in the episode. Like its predecessors, Mengxin was launched aboard a long March 5B carrier rocket, a member of China's most powerful family of launch vehicles. Tiangong is currently populated by a crew of three astronauts, two males and one female. Chen Dong, Kai Xu, and Liu Yang arrived in early June for a six-month stay on board, during which they are expected to complete the station's assembly, conduct spacewalks, and carry out additional experiments. Along with all that, the crew was exceptionally helpful in docking the Mengxin module with the space station with the help of the experts on the ground. According to Nai Lexiang, who is a professor at Shanghai University of Political Science and Law, the space program is a symbol of a major country and a boost to the modernization of China's national defense. It is also a boost to the confidence of the Chinese people, igniting patriotism and positive energy. Following Mengxin's arrival, an additional uncrewed Tianzhou cargo craft is due to dock with the station next month, with another crewed mission scheduled for December, at which time crews may overlap, as Tiangong has sufficient room to accommodate six astronauts. Mengxin weighs in at about 23 tons, is 17.9 meters long, and has a diameter of 4.2 meters. It will provide space for science experiments in zero gravity an airlock for exposure to the vacuum of space, and a small robotic arm to support extravehicular payloads. The already orbiting 23-ton Wenchen, or Quest for the Heavens Laboratory, is designed for science and biology experiments and is heavier than any other single-module spacecraft currently in space. Much about the purpose of the Mengxin was covered in one of our previous episodes, so be sure to check it out if you're looking for in-depth information about what kind of experiments and role the Mengxin will serve. 
In all, the station will have about 110 cubic meters of pressurized interior space, including the 32 cubic meters added by Mengshin. The permanent Chinese station will weigh about 66 tons, a fraction of the size of the ISS, which launched its first module in 1998 and weighs around 465 tons. With a lifespan of 10 to 15 years, Tangong could one day find itself as the only space station still running if the ISS adheres to its 30-year operating plan. As mentioned before, Mengshin Module and the completion of the Tiangong Space Station isn't a moment of the pride for the Chinese nation and its people, but for the whole word itself. China has already been a leader in leading the space culture for several nations and continues to do so. These are the countries which cannot afford to put their own space stations into orbit, and that is where China comes in handy. In a white paper released in the past, China has revealed their intentions of collaborating with several nations including Pakistan, France, Germany, Italy, Russia and the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs on a range of projects from aerospace medicine to microgravity physics. China still has many other extraterrestrial ambitions in the pipeline. Within the next decade, it plans to build a base at the moon's southern tip and from there deploy a telescope with 300 times the field of view of the Hubble. It also intends to collect samples from Mars, among other aims. Some of these developments are scheduled to take place earlier than similar deadlines set by NASA or the European Space Agency. China has already opened the Tiangong Space Station to all states of the United Nations. One of the station's designers told their state media that Tiangong is inclusive and designed to be adaptable for non-Chinese astronauts, and at least 1,000 scientific experiments will be conducted in the station, mostly involving Chinese researchers but also including projects led by researchers from 17 other countries and regions like Kenya, Russia, Mexico, Japan, Peru some of which are struggling to support their own space initiatives. While the U.S. is decades of operational experience ahead of the Chinese space program, China's willingness to partner with other countries may be cementing its place as a space power today. Since 2016, China has made 46 space cooperation agreements with 19 different countries and regions. While Tiangong Space Station is not expected to be a major competitor of the mighty International Space Station that holds 16 modules, it will remain in orbit after the ISS retires and will hold experiments from all nations in the world, no matter how big or how small their space agencies are. The U.S. and China competition in space still remains strong and the future is yet to be seen however the recent developments have revealed one thing. China is taking over with its advancements and their collaboration will help the whole world. With everything about the successful Mengshin launch, what follows it, and the help of the complete Tangong space station for other nations covered, it's time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we'll see you in the next one.